Today on Applied Science, we're going to take a quick look at some neat vintage uh, test equipment, and these shorter videos will be freebies for my Patreon subscribers. So take a look at this. This is a Weston Sensitrol Relay, and basically it's an analog meter with latching contacts on either side. So let me show you what, I, what it does. If you put a tiny amount of current into the meter, you can see the needle moves, and then if you have a very large current, it actually swings the needle over to one end and there's a magnet that holds it there and latches a relay contact. Pretty cool. Um, what's especially unusual about this is that it's so sensitive. Just two and a half microamps is its uh, sensing range and it's also bi-directional. Now you might also be wondering, how do we reset it? I mean, it's latched now and there's no lever here to, to uh, undo it. There's a solenoid in the back. So I'm gonna turn on another power supply and it pulls the needle back to center uh, with these two little uh, rubber fingers that actually pull the needle back to center. And so now I'll put the magnet in slowly this time and then withdraw it quickly. And it swings to the other side and latches the other contact. Pretty cool. Here's a close-up so you can see it in action and I'm just using the magnet in the coil again. Um, very sensitive. And then you can see it latch over just like that. And here's the action of the centering device. See it kind of pulling in there. To show how sensitive this thing is, I thought of some other stuff to connect to it. And so in this case, I've connected a white LED right up to the meter. And if I shine an ultraviolet light on it, uh, it produces enough current to make the thing swing over. And there's a little bit of a time effect too. So if at close range, if you swing quickly, sort of nothing happens, but if you hold over it, then it uh, has enough time to move the, the, uh, need the, <laughs> the needle of the meter. And so it has this sort of automatic averaging effect, whereas if you were gonna recreate this with modern technology, you know, you'd use a microcontroller and some averaging and maybe um, filtering of all kinds, but the actual physical momentum of the needle actually provides all of these things inherently, which is pretty cool. Another way to trigger these LEDs is to just hit it with a 405 nanometer laser pointer and this will really do it quickly. And finally I've just got a strip of magnesium metal here which is um, very electrically active. It has like a high uh, electrical potential and so just hanging on to it with my fingers and then touching the other lead is enough to get two and a half microamps and if I kind of blow on my fingers a little bit so they're a little more moist it's enough to trigger the, the meter. This meter is in really good condition. Uh, I found it at a local surplus store and it appears to be new old stock, never installed. It's got a 1957 date code and the, the brass terminals aren't really corroded at all. The thing's been stored really well. Um, appears to be in near perfect condition. I've even got the, the tag for it. And I'll put a link in the video to um, an old advertisement, a period advertising piece. So let's connect this up to the uh, source meter so we can see how uh, what the coil resistance is. In the previous setup, I was using this source meter to supply the voltage for the reset solenoid in the um, Sensitrol. And the reason is that that solenoid is designed for 115 volts AC. And I didn't really want to connect it up to the wall, so I was using the source meter to just supply about 60 volts DC, which was enough. But now I have the source meter connected up to the actual coil in the meter so we can see how it performs. So if I turn the source meter on, uh, it's drawing one microamp at 2.3 millivolt. And if I turn it on and off and you look over at the meter, um, you can see it is in fact moving Yeah, about right. It's about half halfway to its red mark there. So now we'll turn this up to about uh, two microamp. And again, the, the meter agrees with that. Let's keep going, 2.5 micro. Pretty much right at the red line, about three micro. And three is enough to trip the meter. It just uh, swung over and hit the magnet on the end. So at three microamp, it's drawing 6.5 millivolt. If my math is correct, this is only 18 nanowatts of power. So it's pretty cool to get a relay contact closed with just 18 nanowatts of sense power. It's actually a fairly unique device. Even with modern technology, there's nothing that works quite like this. Okay, well, I hope you found that interesting. See you next time. Bye.